my favorite job. I well, my purpose in life always has been to avoid work. You know, I hear these people saying, "I work hard and I pay my taxes." Well, you're an asshole, uh, because. In my readings, if, I, if the Bible is correct, and I'm not a biblical scholar by any means, but whatever Adam and Eve did, I don't know what it was, but they did something that apparently annoyed the guy that made them, and they got booted. And she was sentenced to bear children in pain and labor, which, and they didn't mention that they would have to grow up to be teenagers. And he was sentenced to... Uh, work in the fields where his skin would be burnt by the sun and his hands would be torn by the thorns and thistles of the field and he should earn his bread by the sweat of his brow. So that to me is work, you see. So I always, I didn't do it. He did, so let him pay the price. All my sins, that's called original sin, all mine are mine and all my sins are original. So... Uh, I've avoided work all my life, you see. So I'm like a, um, I'm like a bee. I go from flower to flower. I go where the nectar is. And then we make life just a lot of honey. <laughs> so whenever I'm broadcasting, I like it. When I'm writing, when I'm broadcasting, I can't wait to hear what I have to say. When I'm writing, I thoroughly enjoy it. It just goes off. I write in longhand and just goes on and on and on. When I was in the saloon business, I just would greet people and talk to them and avoid taxes and getting behind the bar. Uh, what else? I ran for governor of New York, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed campaigning. Um, and all of that, mostly anything to do with uh, socializing, entertaining, having a chat, there is nothing like it. And I'm uh, curious to know what's over at the other side there. Because people, uh, people don't, well, the thing is that people don't die here, you see, in America. They, they pass away, they pass on, they leave us, they're gone, no longer with us, they're at peace. They're with the Lord, they're six feet under, they've kicked the bucket, and... Uh, and, and the other thing is they don't allow a dying on the, you nobody ever says, that, they don't allow even on the highway, they won't allow you to die. I said, no passing. They give you a ticket if you die on the highway. I would say <clears throat> I'm more spiritual than I, you see, the way I look upon organized religion Organized religion, I'm, I was a victim of that, you know, of, of mythology and of cruelty and of uh, absurd stuff. And organized religion has all the facets of organized crime, except the compassion of organized crime. They will only break your legs, whereas organized religion will send you to hell forever. <laughs> and we have to think about all that stuff of snakes and paradise and even, you know, making the connection between why the, the, the guy, whoever it was, made these Adam and Eve and makes all of these animals, all the cows and sheep and pigs and elephants and rhinoceros and rabbits and hares and moles and octopuses and salmon and trout and and snakes. And of all the animals that he or she, whatever, created, he brings one into paradise, the snake. Now, do you think you'd bring a, a, a nice little dog or a poodle or something into paradise to keep Adam and Eve uh, uh, company? No, a bloody snake. And instead of a cat, maybe, who just didn't cat would have been, a, no, snake. Not alone that, but a talking snake who says, how are you, Eve? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How about this apple? Oh, really? Oh, oh let me try. Oh, yeah. Adam, this is great apple. So she hands him the apple and they get tossed out. And 
he has to go and work. <laughs> she has to bear children. And the snake, they say, he has to crawl on his belly for all eternity and eat dust. Now, if he was a serpent before, how did he get around? So they banished him and tossed him out and sent him to Ireland. And then they say St. Patrick came and banished all the snakes from Ireland. So he might have, because I think they all came here and took over the St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's my idea. Well, I, uh, I am an alcoholic, as I said, and, uh, and it is, uh, however we cut it, a disease. That's an explanation, but not an excuse. So once I know I'm an alcoholic, then it is my uh, fountain obligation, duty, to see what I can do about healing myself. Now, there's no recovery from alcoholism. It is an incurable disease. And it also is a disease which tells you you don't have a disease. It tells you, I am your friend. And all you need at any given time is a little drinky-poo to make life good and all of that. So then you take the little drinky-poo, and the next thing you know, you have consumed about 40 drinky poos and you're acting like the complete asshole that you were before you had the drinky poo. So, uh, I discovered that, and I said I would never, I would never become an alcoholic like my father because my father deserted us. But diseases, they don't, there's no let up. They get you some way or another. So the alcoholism got me and I ruined my first marriage with drinking and the lying, deceit, infidelity, and all of that, the whole bloody thing. That was, I was the complete one, alienated my first wife. And although I never, I was not abusive in the physical sense in that I did never, uh, never hit her, hit her like many, I'm, I was lucky that I, I'm not addicted to that kind of thing. But I also alienated my children from that marriage. I'm on good terms with them now. And uh, I've been married for 45 years to my second wife. I've been sober for 25. And uh, every day I am very grateful that I, am, uh, that I don't drink. And uh, it's one day at a time. That's all there is to it. And I, uh, so I don't have to worry about it. All I do is, okay. I don't, I do not have to drink. And if I feel like it, I postpone it for 10 minutes. And in that way, I'll find something else to do in the meantime. But alcoholism is a dread and awful and fatal disease. And I've seen so many horrible and awful results and consequences of people um, practicing alcoholism. It's uh, murder. I've seen that. I've seen uh, a lot of suicides, uh, a lot of strange sins. So particularly, you get a lot of thievery, and, and and the whole thing is involved. The lying, that we were great, we we're liars, and then a lot of people uh, abuse their children, and um, more than hitting, so many people abuse their children sexually as well. And that is, uh, that's, that, that's, it is a family disease, and that's one of the horrors of it when kids are abused sexually, and there seems to be more of it now than ever. And I find that, um, I find that so sad that that happens.